this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel, uh, Suds and Bees. Uh, today I will be making uh, goat's milk heavy cream cold process soap. If you've never made cold process soap, please stop here and click on the links below. Um, I will link um, URLs to the channel where you can learn how to make cold process soap and they talk about all the safety gear. So before we begin, let's all make sure that we are wearing uh, gloves, long sleeve shirt, pants, shoes that cover your toes, uh, you're wearing um, eyeglasses, and there are no children or pets around. Okay, so here I have melted all my oils. I am using 70% olive oil, 25% coconut oil, and 5% castor oil. Um, and to this, I will be adding uh, titanium dioxide and kaolin clay. And they have been dissolved uh, in olive oil. Make sure I get it all in there. I don't think I need to blend. Okay. We'll blend it just a little bit. To this I will be adding my lye solution. I have only added 50% of water in my lye solution uh, because the other 50% I'm using in heavy cream. So it's a little challenging because I think I should, I should have used a smaller bowl. So we're going to pour it on here so it doesn't create too many bubbles. Put this on the side. Okay, put my blender aside for a minute. Put it all everywhere. Now, this is the first time I'm making soap in my studio. Um, Cold process soap. I usually make it in the kitchen. Uh, so excuse my mess here. Okay, to this I will be adding my goat's milk. Um, I use powdered goat's milk uh, because I still haven't gotten um, I haven't been able to successfully uh, put the lye in the frozen goat milk. It always burns. Um, so I'm sticking to powdered goat's milk. I'm hoping that eventually I'll be able to, to get this down. Well, that created a bunch of bubbles. We're gonna have to get rid of those later. So to the to the batter, I will now be adding the heavy cream. This is fifty percent of my water, 
And this makes it super creamy. Um, you would not believe how amazing the soap is. Um, this is the third loaf I make, so I decided to video it. Um, because we have been going through this soap fairly quickly. Now this I don't want to blend because now I don't want my batter to get too thick too fast. So I'm going to be splitting my batter, put a third of the batter into the small container, and I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not um, going to be measuring it. So I think about, yeah, that much should be good. I'll put this aside. Now to the small batter, I have dissolved some uh, pink rose clay on olive oil and this should give us a nice um, pink batter. I will not be adding fragrance to this oil so this will be a fragrance free um, soap with uh, natural colors. Go ahead and stir this. Because I am in my studio, I'm not close to the sink. I don't want to put my blender in the pink first. So to the white batter, I will be adding one teaspoon of honey. Um, I purchased this honey um, here in Texas, and it comes from Austin, is Hugio Honey. So it's a local honey that um, I got for this soap. So to this guy, where's my, I don't want to mix the colors here. I will be adding my honey. And this is going to give it um, more bubbles and add, it, honey is a humectant. For the soap. Uh, my only worry with the honey is that it really accelerates the soap. So far so good though. I gotta say I'm pretty impressed. I didn't want to add it to the pink because I don't want it to get for the soap to get unmanageable when I start pouring it. I can feel it um, thickening up already with the honey. Okay so we're gonna do one quick blend. pretty thick now but I bend it a little bit extra because I did want it to get a little thick right away because I want to pour it in get some of these bubbles out So here I have my 2.2 pound mold. So I will add, let me see, make sure you guys can see this. Add the batter here. Save some of that. And 
I will blend this one a little bit because the rose clay is still not fully incorporated. When you're cleaning your um, mixer with your this really floppy spatula, be very careful because they are so bendy sometimes they can splash all over. And you don't want that on your face, it's too dangerous. It'll burn your skin. Okay, so I'm going to add, I don't know if I want to do a little layer. Well, let's do a little layer. Why not? I have, I have not thought through this design uh, ahead of time. I'm just kind of going as I'm doing it here. I'm just designing it as we're going. I haven't really put a lot of thought into it. So we'll see how that turns out. There's some air bubbles in there. Okay, put the rest of the batter in there. Sorry. Can't do this with the camera. Okay. I'll turn into a hot mess. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, you wear gloves. I apologize. Um, I'm going to have to cover. Let me see if I can do it with my other hand. Um, I think safety first, right? I know you all want to see, but I apologize. But I, I need to be safe here. I don't want to make a mess. I think next time I'll put the camera on the side. Oh, a little pink there, but that's okay. Wipe the sides off. And I think what I'm going to do is probably... I don't know if I want to pipe this or not. Okay, so I decided to pipe the top. Um, that was a last minute thing, which... I wasn't even prepared for. Um, I don't know if this is thick enough, but we'll find out. Yeah, it is actually. So this was a last minute cake design. I really didn't know what I was going to make. I just knew that I had to make this soap today. Well, I had to do something since we're all stuck at home. Um, I will be starting with my Easter soaps pretty soon. Um, and I have everything prepared, but I only have two more bars of soap for the house. 
So I wanted to get this going. We had a situation, so I gave some of my bars away. I don't know how this is going to look. Because <laughs> that's what happens when you don't plant things out. I can feel like this batter is still pretty warm too. Usually I, when I pipe I wait for it to cool down a little bit more but I have to go and make dinner soon. So I don't really have time. Okay. So there we go. I'm gonna take off my gloves. I will put them back on when I wash my stuff. But for now, we're gonna put in some white jojoba beads that um, I bought this a long time ago. Uh, I never really had a chance to use the white ones because I don't know why. I'm just been using the other ones. A little spoon because I don't want to put my crummy hands in there. And then let's just hope for the best. I, I don't know how this is going to look. A little sugar on top. It's really warm in this room. It's really muggy in Texas. But I don't want to turn on the fan because it may get too loud for the video. I don't know. What do y'all think? Look like sugar? And because it's pink, y'all don't know, I love glitter. So we're going to add some glitter. Okay, to make sure, to make sure the glitter stays, we're going to spray some 99% alcohol. And because this soap does have um, dairy and honey, it's going to go through gel face, and I do want it to go through gel face. So I will be covering it up uh, with a box and then putting a towel on top of it to insulate it. So uh, we'll be back between um, 18 to 24 hours to cut it. So see you soon. Okay, so I just spent about a, I don't know, about a half hour looking for a light that I've never actually bought. So I hope you guys have enough light here. I do have a light up here, uh, but I don't have a light coming from here. So I'm hoping we have enough light so you guys can see the unmolding and the cutting of the soap. So the soap has been sitting here for about 24 hours, I want to say, 25 hours. I was making uh, some other stuff earlier, so didn't have a chance to unmold this guy. Oh, gentle. Oh, some of it went. This is what happens with soap that's really high in um, olive oil. I did put the sodium lactate in it. Uh, maybe I can still save it. I apologize, my hands are on the way. Where's the corner that got stuck? This one. Maybe I can save it. It's going to look a little sickling, but. Not even. But just so you know, this is what you can do when, or if you have like holes in your soap, um, this is how you can fix them because it's still soft enough. 
Little bit of messes here. Pick him up. I'm gonna clean him up so just so you know you can see. Okay, so we're back. Um, I adjusted the camera and this cutter and blah blah blah, and I cut the the little ends. Um, this little little ends that I don't like to have my bars to have. Um, so I am going to cut them uh, one inch, but I'm going to cut them this way because I have salt and glitter on the top, and I don't want that scraping down all, all over the soap. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Oh, and that soap kind of really makes a lot of noise. So this is what it looks like. Okay, and here you have a close-up of the cut soap. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, I didn't add enough titanium dioxide. It's still pretty yellow. Um, I also could have used pomace olive oil. Um, which is not as yellow, but this is for me, so I like strong olive oil in my soap. Um, I like it to feel very moisturizing. And uh, you can see the little, the little salts, they look so cute, which is the jojoba beads. And there you have it. We've made some goat milk heavy cream cold process soap no fragrance uh, no color the pink is with rose clay well thank you for watching see you next time